Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, let's start off with today's video talking about Awaken Heal Day versus Awaken Yumina for your first anniversary rewards. Alright, if you guys are not aware, on C server specifically, right, we are going to get this selector tomorrow. Alright, so if you start the game today, you can still get this thing because you can see 16 days left, which is pretty insane. So you have a chance to get you know, this selector right here at the end of the 15th day. As you can see, this will reward you. It's a Fenrir Squad Awaken Recruitment Coupon, which you can basically select who you want. Either an Awaken Heal Day or an Awaken Yumina. Now, I get asked about this a lot. Who should I pick Guitar Rock between Awaken Heal Day and Awaken Yumina? So in this video, hopefully we'll get to break down uh, each of the pros and cons of picking the other one. Alright, so let's jump into it. First things first, uh, you need to know what they are both used for all right if you don't know what they are used for probably it's hard to compare both of them it's really hard to compare both ideally because awaken yumina is a striker she's a attacker she rushed to the ship she's used differently than awaken heal day which is much more of a for stalling you know where you need healers and stuff for awaken yumina you you can still use healer or supporter to basically support her but ideally she works best in rush com where you're just rushing uh, in terms of pvp and in pve she shines in certain stages for example danger close all right so danger close if you guys are not aware uh, is something that happens every two weeks so this game mode is like a raid boss think of it like a raid boss and it opens every two weeks depending on the bosses you will be able to rush and destroy the boss all right so for example this week's one tyrant sword and regenerator bishop this one you don't really need awaken yumina but in some bosses for example like the spider boss uh, the moderator boss a boss b the spider boss you can definitely defeat her and if there's boss a and boss b at the same time both of it you can have a yumina in fact you can have you can build two awaken yuminas if you want to because uh, the problem with this stage is if you have used a character before right you can't use them on the other boss for example uh replace the queen right i've used her in this boss so I can't use her in this partic this other boss right here. So it's limited to one boss per unit. So unless you build multiple versions of that unit, which is the only way for you to overcome that, then that could be a good option. So let's talk about... I'll give you guys a, a proper condition on where you want to pick Awaken Heal Day or why you want to pick Awaken Yumina. Let's start off with Awaken Heal Day. Now Awaken Heal Day, uh, if you guys are not aware, she's one of the few defenders in the game and till today awaken heal day is still the tankiest tankiest defender in the game if you're looking for a pure tank to stall for battle for you to get more deployment costs you want to defend she is your go-to character all right so the problem with awaken heal day like like i mentioned she is the best best tank in the game by far all right even uh until recent times, they have released more and more defenders. So let's look at a lot of other defenders and we can compare, right? So for example, Awaken Nayubin. He is less tanky than Awaken Hilde, but he's much more, he provides a different utility, right? In his case, Awaken Nayubin have the ability to burn, as you can see, HP for tower units every 2% or 4% in Gauntlet, which is insane. And also Awaken Nayubin has the ability to uh, reduce all enemy skill haste by 30%. So this is something that Awaken Ayubin can do, you know, much more utility based at the sacrifice of tankiness. So in my opinion, uh, if I can choose both in PvP, I do like Awaken Ayubin more. But that's not, that doesn't mean that Awaken Hilde is weak by any means. Like I said, she's the best tank in the game, but that's also her, her downside to it. She's just tanky. She doesn't have any utility. If you just want pure tank, yeah, she's just there. Uh, she also can give allies shield. So what happens if uh, when you deploy her, all right, a non-cancellable barrier by 8% of max HP around all allies. So this one can be useful in certain situations, all right? But I don't think it's like, it's super needed because uh, there are supporters that can do similar things. For example, Aries can give shield as well. Instead of using a, a 6 cost to give shield, why not just use a 3 cost Aries to give shield and Aries is an SR, right? So that's something that you need to know in terms of if you're looking for a tank. So. Should you pick Awaken Heal Day, it's going to depend on a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to ask you, do you have Awaken Ayubin or any other defenders? So if you have a lot of other defenders, let's say you have every other defenders other than Awaken Heal Day. You have Awaken Ayubin, uh, you have uh, Overflow, 
and then you have Serapel. Serapel is very very good. For an SSR, she's probably the best defender besides Liumi. These two are equally equally good, but Serapel is going to be slightly tanky. Uh, Liumi is much more of an evasion based unit. So these two, they are going to be more than sufficient enough to help you take care of all the PVE contents. Now if you care about PVE, obviously um, you don't really need Awakened Heal there that much. I'm not saying that she's weak, again I'm saying that she, I want to emphasize this, she's still the tankiest unit in the game. But it's just that you don't need her if you have a lot of other defenders ready. So that's where I'm coming from. Uh, so do you have other defenders? How many defenders do you have? So this is going to determine whether or not you want to pick Awaken Hilde. Now if you have Awaken Niobin, I would say skip her. Alright, there's no need for you to pick Awaken Hilde because they do the same thing. Awaken Niobin is slightly more gear dependent compared to Awaken Hilde. Awaken Hilde doesn't need that good of a gear. Alright, Awaken Niobin uh, is going to, you know, need slightly better gears to last better in battle. So that's something that you want to keep in mind is like, I feel like if you have Awaken Niobin, right, you have a Na Yubin, you don't need Awaken Hilde. Alright, so if you have this, alright, if you have Awaken Niobin, you don't really need to pick her. I would say just go for Awaken Yumina. And these are the conditions that, um, yeah, I will decide based on this. So again, just to reiterate, just because you have Awaken Hilde, or just because you don't have her, it doesn't really impact you much, especially on C server in the late game. I'm not sure how many of you guys are new players or how many of you guys are returning players. If you are a new player, you play during the first anniversary, I can understand that Awaken Hilde can be really, really useful for you. Like I said, uh, if you don't have Awaken Ayubin or you don't have much defenders in terms of the SSR defenders, like I mentioned earlier, you should consider her, for sure. Now let's talk about Awaken Yumina. What are the conditions for Awaken Yumina? Now, Awaken Hilde is the best tank in the game. Now what is Awaken Yumina good at? Awaken Yumina is the best rush striker in the game. No competition, alright? You can ask anyone. If she's free, if you have new Detroit ship, she destroys. Alright, not many, not many a striker, not many units can rush as well as her. Alright, some people might say Niall. Alright, Niall is also one of the better rushers uh, in terms of, you know, trying to rush, take down the ship. So Niall can rush quite well as well. But Niall is nowhere near as tanky as Awaken Yumina, right? Because Awaken Yumina is perfect evasion. Yeah, they, they both have their counters and stuff, but Awaken Yumina just have more damage. She can destroy Replacer King teams. <clears throat> Depending on the condition, if you're trying to rush to counter certain comms, stall comms, for example, like mech teams, right? For example, um, what is that? Replacer King teams? Awaken Yumina is very, very strong. All right, she's definitely, I think until today, she is still going to be the best rush striker in the game. You don't really use her as a defender, you don't really use her to tank, you just use her to rush, alright? This is mostly for PvP, and also in PvE, she does a lot of damage. Now, there's one issue though. Recently, we have one rearm character, which is also a striker, right? And that is rearm Asterosa. Okay, so the issue is not that I wouldn't... It's hard to compare both. But I would say Rearm Asterosa has equally, if not more damage, than an Awakened Yumina. Alright, so if you have a Rearm Asterosa, if you have a Rearm Asterosa, I feel like you donate a Yumina. Whatever that Rearm Asterosa can do, uh, whatever that Awakened Yumina can do, Rearm Asterosa can sort of do. In terms of tanking, maybe not so much in the rushing, Right? Awaken Yumina still have quite a lot of perfect evasion and stuff. But in terms of doing damage, raw damage, I think Rearm Asterosa has equal raw power as well. So think about it. If you have Rearm Asterosa, you might not need Awaken Yumina. And one more thing is, uh, let's talk about Awaken Horizon. Now a lot of people did pull for Awaken Horizon. Now I, it's hard to compare Awaken Horizon to Awaken Yumina because Big factor is one is a mech, Awaken Horizon is a mech right here, and Awaken Yumina is a counter. But I feel like in terms of damage, they are both very comparable. And Awaken Horizon can be equally as strong, if not better, than Awaken Yumina 
in PVE. If you are pulling for PVE uh, scenario, right? I'm going to say you might not really need Awaken Yumina. So that's something to consider as well. A Horizon. So they are both striker, but they can't use the same gear. So that's what, one thing you want to keep in mind because uh, Awaken Horizon is a mech. So do you have her? And do you have her? And do you have good gears to pair with her? All right, a lot of people, they pull for Realm Horizon, but guess what? They thought she's a counter and they don't have any mech gears for her. It's something that happens a lot of time uh, in, in a lot of, to a lot of characters, right? Uh, for Sigma, for a lot of mech units, because not many people invest in mech uh, gears. So something that you want to consider, if you have Awakened Horizon, I feel like she can perform the same in Danger Close as Awakened Yumina in most cases. Maybe um, to a certain extent, she can't like go forward as much, she moves slower. But in terms of damage output, I would say they are quite similar. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. Of course, when I say they are quite similar, is we have to compare them with both equal gears, right? Because a lot of people don't have uh, good mech gears and that will always they will always have an underperforming Awakened Horizon. So that's something you want to keep in mind. So these are the conditions that I'm going to judge based on. For Awakened Hill Day, best tank in the game, Awakened Yumina, best rush striker in the game. Alright, so how many defenders do you have? If you have Awakened Nayubin, you can skip a Hilde and pick Mina instead. For Awakened Yumina, if you have Rearm Estorosa, if you have Awakened Horizon, I feel like you can skip her and get a Hilde instead. So hopefully, this will help you guys decide which is going to be the better pick for you. Alright, so depends on... It really depends, right? You can't really say who is the better character right here because they both have different roles. Alright, these two characters, as you can see, one is a, a defender, one is the best tank in the game, one is the best rush striker in the game. So you can't say which is better. It really depends on how you plan to play your PvE and PvP contents. I'm going to say... If you already have both, right? Something that you want to keep in mind, if you already have both, probably it's better to just pick Awakened Yumina because it makes sense to have two Awakened Yumina over two Awakened Hilde. Like I mentioned, Danger Close. Alright, Danger Close, you have the ability to use two same characters if you have a uh, different variation, different characters built. And sadly, Danger Close, I don't think Awakened Hilde is useful right here. Alright, this is where you get to use two characters if you already use your first character here, the second boss, you can't use the same character. So you need to build like a... A lot of people build two Yang Harem, two Xiao Yun. So two Yumina might be an option right here if you're trying to tackle, like further tackle your danger close bosses in the future. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Like, do you guys think I miss any point? Uh, again, feel free to let me know in the comment section below if I miss anything. Right, I would love to hear from, from you guys as well, your guys' opinion. If you any veteran players are watching this, feel free to agree, feel free to disagree. Let me know of your thoughts in the comments section below. And who are you guys speaking as well, alright? So, as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. This is my second channel. I try to post more uh, off counterside guide, you know, from time to time and some PvP-related contents here as well. So yeah, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.